Okay, we now move on to IELTS speaking part 2 and your topic is describe an occasion when you ate a kind of food for the first time. Ate, Austin's. Any food and you will talk about one specific type. Yes, you can talk about Italian food and then some of the Italian dishes or otherwise you can talk about one dish that you ate for the first time. You should say when you had it, the occasion, when, right? Uh, where you ate it, location, restaurant, wedding or whatever or maybe at home and what it was, the dish, the food actually and how you felt about it means did you like it or you didn't like it, right? So you're going to cover all these points in past simple tense, right? Because okay. it is in the past tense. You'll now have to speak on this topic for one to two minutes. Uh, well, I normally uh, like to eat traditional Pakistani food, but I like to eat um, Chinese noodles or Italian lasagna. Uh, here I would like to talk about the time when I ate lasagna for the first time. Uh, I vividly remember that when I was in my graduation and during the summer vacation, I uh, went to my cousin's place in Islamabad and it was uh, uh, her birthday. So she threw a party to her friends, um, her mother, that is my aunt, uh, she, is an, she is an excellent uh, cook and I always worried about, worried about uh, her culinary um, uh, skills. Uh, so she decided to make a lasagna at uh, home. First, we, uh, in order to make lasagna, uh, we went to market to bought something uh, regarding uh, the lasagna. Uh, so we bought uh, 10 packs of lasagna sheets, beef mince, um, cheese, capsicum, other things and uh, some seasoning like oregano, uh, basil leaves, etc. Uh, then we came back home and uh, starting the preparation of uh, lasagna. Um, my aunt, I helped my aunt a lot in chopping the vegetables and grating the cheese. Uh, then she asked us to get ready, so we went for uh, we, we went to get ready. Uh, by the time we got back and uh, her friends arrived, so they pouring the lasagna in the plates, and the lasagna's flavor was excellent and was mouth watering as well. Uh, I liked and enjoyed a lot uh, this dish. So uh, after that, I have tried so uh, lasagna at many places. Okay. All right, one minute and 55 seconds. Overall, your talk was very good, very impressive. The way you started, I was literally impressed, right? Now, there is one thing. Uh, what you did, you made a bigger picture. What I want you is to divide this bigger picture into four parts. Number one, when you had it. Just talk about that. I had it at my friend's place. Okay. My One of my friends, she had invited me to her place in Islamabad. And over there, for the very first time, I had this dish. Now, when first talk about that, then talk about where, then what it was, and then how you felt about it. So, if you speak in small portions, it's better. But on the other hand, let me tell you, it is not compulsory to cover all the topics. Okay. I mean, the main topic should be covered, but what is written after that, it is not compulsory that you have to cover every point. But still, it's a good idea instead of making one whole story, okay. you can speak in small parts. Okay. But overall, it was well. Now, coming towards the mistakes, like you said, my friend threw party to her friends. It should be party for her friends. Okay. And then you said, yes, uh, like towards after a few seconds, you said to made and to bought. To make. In order to okay. make. And we went to market to bought, okay. you said, to buy. To buy. Right? Yes. And then you said the pouring lasagna. Now, is that a liquid? Uh, no. No. Okay. No. So yeah, they exactly. Uh, you can use the word they uh, gave lasagna okay. to everyone or anything like that. Okay. So not okay. pouring in plates. So this type of thing. But overall, it was quite impressive. Let's move on to speaking part three. Do you like to try new food? Uh, yes, I always like to try new foods. Even uh, every um, weekends, I uh, go. Uh, different types of uh, restaurants to try the different cuisines with my family and uh, all the different cuisine always makes me want to know about the uh, tradition or culture of that country uh, so uh, I love to try different yeah, kinds of things so so you can say to answer your to question answer. I love to try this what kinds of foreign foods are popular in your country 
well there are many kinds of foreign uh, foreign foods are popular in which my which are popular which in my are country popular in my country uh, like uh, chinese noodles and uh, especially i want to mention it here the sushi uh, is becoming the most popular food in uh, uh, the sushi which is becoming the sushi which is becoming the most popular uh, food uh, in my country and uh, mexican um, burritos are uh, very similar like over pakistani chapatis so to the answer of your question is yes uh, yeah. to pakistani answer your people, question yes, yes i uh, pakistani uh, people like the foreign food okay that's right uh, do you like to cook at home yes i like to cook at home uh, or, and i uh, always try uh, different um, dishes at my home uh, my mother has taught me different pakistani uh, dishes as well uh, as well as i learn from the youtube channels and try it my home so everybody like to eat at my place yeah, everybody likes to eat everybody at my likes place. to okay. eat okay overall your speaking is good it is fluent you speak clearly as well but main thing is grammatical mistakes so just try to overcome these grammatical mistakes then it will be fine but still looking at the fluency looking at the vocabulary lexical resource uh looking at your pronunciation you'll be getting higher band in these three but only in grammar you'll be getting a relatively lower band but still it's enough to bring you uh 6.5 to 7 okay yes thank, thank you, you.